Okay. So will what works for my competitor actually work for me? Well, yes and no. I mean, obviously, their, their, uh, their brands aren't going to work for you the way that their brand works for them. Um, and, and they're not an exact copy of you. So, so there's certain things that aren't going to work. But what if you could look at all of your competitors as sort of a council of your advisors and find out what is working for all of them in general? If you took all of their keywords, and overlaid them on each other, and then just found the stuff that they're all buying, right? You would eliminate the differences between the, the individual differences between your company and your competitor. You'd eliminate all their branded keywords, which you know are, are very profitable for them, but they're not necessarily going to be as profitable for you, or they're not going to be as profitable for you. They might end up being somewhat profitable for you, but they're not going to be as profitable. You eliminate all these, all these sort of idiosyncratic differences, and you come up with the general rule, right? And sometimes that general set of, of keywords is, is pretty big. I mean, and, and you can just plain, you can just start with those, right? They just work. And I pretty much, uh, you know, recommend starting that way because what we do is we take this overlap, and then we actually rank them in the same way that we rank with uh, the previous slides, how do I go back here, uh, let's see. This, this same sorting, this Home Depot, refrigerators, carpet, that's the same way we would sort. So if, if Home Depot and Lowe's and Ace Hardware all advertised consistently, if, if refrigerators, which it wouldn't be, but if faucets was, uh, was in their top set of keywords, we'd have that at the top of the list, right? So you can take this, this, this overlap, and this is Spy Food Combat, I'll show it to you live here. You can take this set of keywords and you select it right here, right? 3,700 keywords that REI, Alt-Rec, and Backcountry are, are, are on. And, and then this list shows up here sorted in exactly the way that you would want to execute on them. These are the most profitable keywords uh, ordered in you know, the 3,700 keywords, right? Now, let's go like one step further. I just want to see the stuff that I'm not already doing. So let's say I'm kayak.com, and uh, Travelocity and Expedia are two of my competitors. I'm already advertising on a list of you know 50,000 keywords. It's, you know these these guys spend a lot of money, um, but and so so save me some time. Just show me the stuff that that you know that these guys are doing, that that Expedia is doing and Travelocity is doing, and I'm not already. And then order those things by. Uh, the most uh, the most profitable keywords for me, right? So here we go. Look, I think that this is an interesting set of results because uh, Expedia and Travelocity are both buying Priceline's um, Priceline brand, uh, but Kayak isn't. That you know, depending on what they want to do, that that's a good pickup for them possibly. Um, last minute holidays is golden. They should definitely be on last minute holidays. I mean, look at that. Uh, look at that ad placement timeline. Those guys are ranking high and always. They're, all, they're consistently on that keyword, and they're always ranked high. And you know that because that bar is real high. All right? And, um, and then, of course, you got the misspelling of travel. Might be a good pickup for them. Probably is. Um, looks like Expedia really believes in it. Okay? So what have we done? We've compiled all of our competitors' keywords. Right? We've, we've identified the most profitable ones. We've filtered out the ones that aren't universally profitable. And furthermore, we've highlighted the ones that I can act on today. And that's what, we're, that's what we spend our time doing, focused on at SpyFu, is trying to like, make you, uh, give you things that you can act on. The, 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 the first keywords at the top of every list are the, most, are, are the best ones. And we spent you know, the last basically uh, you know, four years working on that. So if you do run into this guy, you know, talk to him. He's probably a pretty good guy. I mean, he's got a hookah, you know, whatever. He's a good guy. Um, but, you know, don't whip out your notepad and start writing down everything that he's saying because realistically, whether he's, you know, drunk or not, there's no way that this guy's going to give you the insight that you can get just by observing his behavior and, and using the tools at your disposal. He just can't possibly compile, you know, oh, let me tell you the 3,700 keywords that are the most profitable for me and our two competitors. No, that's never going to happen. You, you, can, you can do better uh, even if he was trying to give you his secrets. And um, that's all I have.